Hello, Natalia. It's Gilbert Cox of Rockborn speaking, technical director, and my assistant, uh, Jake Cox, who's a concrete technician. We are going to demonstrate uh, the underwater mortar abrasion resistant uh, material that we've been working on. And we're going to show you a, a slight demonstration on the material and how it's applied. Thank you. Uh, we're just going to demonstrate um, how you can mix small quantities in the laboratory. Um, we've got uh, three kgs of the, uh, the powder and uh, we're going to mix it up with the appropriate amount of water and uh, you can just see how it, I hope you can see how it mixes. steel fibre, both the bauxite and, and the fibre will help uh, the abrasion resistance uh, of the material. Um, note that the powder is all, is all pre-mixed, so you've got your cement powder, uh, your bauxite and also the steel fibre in the mix, uh, pre-mixed and ready to use. Take about uh, 30 seconds or a minute to mix uh, and uh, the consistency we get is a slightly wet mortar consistency. And uh, after about 30 seconds or a minute or so it will be fully mixed and uh, ready to use. Um, Jake's just, uh, in fact, uh, banged out the mix, and you can see the consistency of the material. That's the underwater mortar abrasion resistant. Um, you can make it up to what consistency you want, stiff and cohesive like that, or, uh, in fact, um, uh, what we call a wet mortar consistency. You can make it wetter. Um, now, the best way to proceed on repairing the concrete is just to... Um, form balls of the material. Uh, Jake will just now get a, a dollop of the material in his hand and just form balls, uh, as you can see, in his hand. The actual uh, secret of the mix is just to let it gel. Mm, let it gel for a, a few minutes to stiffen up the mix and make it more washout resistant. Uh, so we'll just uh, wait for a few, five, ten minutes or so um, for the material to, to stiffen. Uh, the material's got a retarder in there. It gives you enough time to, to mix uh, and um, form the material into balls. Uh, once the retarder starts to fade, then the accelerator comes in and then uh, accelerates the mix. Um, okay, thank you. Um, this is just a few minutes after we've mixed and you can see the consistency of the material. It goes through this uh, putty consistency. That's the, the material. You can work it in your hands like that and just to form balls, cricket sized balls. It's not quite ready for use at the moment. It needs just to stiffen up and gel a bit more. But uh, that's the idea. And you can see... Uh, consistency of the material. It's a, it's a, what we call a moderately stiff putty consistency. So we're just waiting a little bit more for the material. If you keep working the material, of course, uh, you, you retard the set. So if you work it or agitate it like that, it will start to loosen up again. So if you leave it just how it is, uh, it will um, gel and stiffen. And uh, it's not quite ready to use at the moment. Uh, Thank you. Um, it's a few minutes later and the material is beginning to gel quite strongly uh, and uh, we can form it uh, just uh, 
if you can form it as much as you can on the surface uh, to fit the uh, uh, void that you want to fill, just like that little sort of pancake, stick pancake uh, sections like that, and um, just wait for it to gel, and then we can apply it uh, to the uh, concrete piece uh, underwater. Thank you. So once we've got the material um, in a sort of a pancake shape, then we uh, apply it uh, underwater. 100% uh, contact is 100% bond, so you need to in fact just push it on there. It will just uh, slowly disperse, it can disperse slightly underwater, but if you just keep pressing it in, keep pressing it in, the die will keep uh, pressing it in. And piece by piece, you can feel your way around uh, the material going underwater like this. Uh, work it in, build it up from the bottom of the cavity that you want to, in fact, place. A little bit more. It's always very wet to work underwater and then what we'll do then is apply uh, an another lot uh, Jake will just knock out another lot and we'll apply that okay we just uh, form these two or three balls into pancakes and I'll just apply underwater again but, uh, just giving it a... it is slightly clouding up underwater as you can see but I think the void is mostly filled uh, there's no way that we're going to produce a smooth surface underwater, but we shall try. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, there's just no... I'm going to pull it out of the water, as you can see. Um, what we've got is the mortar in place. There's just no way that we're going to get uh, a smooth surface, in fact, uh, underwater. So just um, from the point of view of testing, we just need a smooth surface for the abrasion test. Uh, just to do that, we are just going to have to put it horizontally like this and just smooth it off. As you can see, just to bring it up to the level, which is 20 millimeters, I believe. It can be done underwater, but to produce a smooth surface, so for testing, it's best if we just bring it out of water like this. Smooth it off. Thank you.